Welcome to, uh, into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations in Clay. My name is uh, Louis Palladini and uh, tonight I'd like to show you some pieces I did when I was younger. I have uh, some pieces I made when I was 12. Uh, it was really great because this particular piece I'm showing you here, right here right now is a piece that I made. This was the first piece that I made in the seventh grade of my art class. So when my teacher saw this piece, she told me that, she said, since you did such a good job on that, she said I could make these dinosaurs or make creatures all year long out of clay. But this type of clay here, it's all right to use. It's a wet base clay. And what you need to do is you let it harden, air dry. And then what ends up happening, I'll just kind of move that around for you. It did get a little damaged, some of the, the part of the tail is missing, but it's still a pretty good piece I just wanted to show you. And, you know, there's a few, a couple of the fingers have broken off since then, but it was a long time ago when I did these. So, the, uh, but she allowed me to do these creatures all year long, which, oh, I had a fantastic time. And I'll show you some of the other pieces. Another piece that I made when I was 12 was, this is an Ankylosaurus. You can see this right here. And it, uh, you can see how it's been, you put, you put a, what you do is when, after it air dries, you put a glaze on it. And then what you do is then they fire in a kiln at 3,000 degrees. So it's a, it's a pretty cool piece. You can see the nice texture. You can see how I made the nice lines for the back. And it's got the spikes. The spikes would defend it against other dinosaurs. And then what this dinosaur had at the end of his tail was a club. This club here, he would use this to strike out and then the attackers, like the, uh, a T-Rex or something, you know, some big predator like that, he, he would use that club-like tail. Another dinosaur that I did during that year, just showing you a few of them, this is a T-Rex that I did. And you can see, you can see the feet. Now, I'm sure you're looking at this, this sculpture here, and you see that it's a lot different than the one that you see at the beginning of the show. When you see my show in the beginning, you see the T-Rex and the Triceratops. You can see there's a huge difference in the detail between this and that one. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to show you these basic techniques. And as you practice or again and again, you'll get better and better, and you'll be able to see, oh, I can do that. I can make the head look a little better this time, or I can make the tail look a little better on something, or you know, claws and things. And then you, you try different techniques and you keep improving. So, you know, don't ever get discouraged with the clay. Keep it fun and, uh, you know, just have fun with it. And I will show you uh, what we're going to be doing tonight. The sculpture that we'll be doing tonight, I want to show you is we're going to be making a, a killer whale. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that from start to finish. I'm going to show you how to paint it and and uh, it's a really cool little sculpture to make. And we're going to make him look like he's riding on a wave here. So I will show you what we need for that in a minute. I want to show you the types of clay that we can use. You can use an oil-based clay such as this. It, it never hardens. And uh, as I've mentioned many times in the past, that I used to use this all the time when I was a kid. You use it again and again. And, you know, you don't like something after a while. You just make something new. And... It was always a lot of fun. You know, you, you didn't have to worry about it drying with like the other clay that I have, that, uh, the Super Sculpey. And uh, another type of clay that you can use, this air hardening clay such as this, which hardens in like a couple of hours or overnight, and then you can paint it. And, uh, you know, can, this can be bought in any art store, just as the other one can. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey. And... You know, you can, um, once you make your sculpture, after 15 or 20 minutes, you fire it in a regular oven at about 275 degrees. It becomes hard. And then you can paint it. You can do all kinds of things with it. And that's, that's what I love about this clay. You can use it in a regular oven. That clay, the other pieces I showed you here earlier, those had to be fired in a kiln, you know. It's, and one of the things I did uh, disadvantage to this clay is you, you can't put like an armature or something inside it to hold it up where the super sculpey you can. But, you know, I've shown you a few simple type of armatures, but we haven't really got into that. That's basically something that you put inside the clay. It almost acts like the skeletal structure within the animal or the sculpture to hold it up. 
but we'll get more into that in, in later shows. I want to basically concentrate on these simple basic techniques. The clay balls that we'll be using tonight, I'll show you the various sizes that we can be using. This will be the first size that we will use, about this big. I've already started to tamp it a little bit in the bottom, and that's what we'll use for the base on the killer whale. We're going to use that for the water. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you we have these two small balls of clay here on the side. These are going to be used for the flippers. And then we're going to use for the dorsal fin on the back, we'll use this size ball of clay. And then for the tail on the back, we'll use this size here. And for the body itself, this is the size ball of clay that we want to use for the body. The thing, first thing we'll proceed to do is I want to show you, we're going to take this piece of clay here and we're going to make the water. And I'll show you what we're looking to work on right now. The piece that we're trying to do here is we want to do this base here, which is the water. And this is what the whale will be riding on. So that's the piece we're working on right now. And that's the shape that you want. So I'm going to take this, stretch it out, you kind of squeeze it between your fingers like this. You just kind of squeeze it like that. You go like that. And then what we can do is we can tap it on the table just ever so slightly. And then we can I like to do that. And you know, I'm going to try to pull it a little bit too. See, I'm kind of pulling it with my fingers. I'm going to just kind of do that. And when I just kind of, and I want to look at it from the, the top here and see how level it is because I want to put the whale on it. And we're going to tap that in the table again. Just, gonna, just like so. See how it's nice and flat? You want to have that flat like that. And that's what you want it to look like from the, from the side. And that's what it looks like from the back. And that's what it looks like from the front. So what we want to do is we want to use some tools here. We're going to use something very basic we've used in, this, in the past. We're going to use tin foil. You know, you can buy that at the supermarket, you know, and you use it for a variety of food type items, but it's great when you crinkle it up into a ball like this. And then we're going to take, and we're going to take, and you just kind of scrape it along the water like this. See how I'm doing this? I'll show you. You kind of take and go like that. But you, you kind of like twist it back and forth a little bit. Can you go like that? And I'll show you. you just kind of twist like that. I'm going to kind of just do that quickly on the other side too. Just kind of go back and forth like that. You want, it creates a nice version of the water. And I'll show you. Go like that, like that. I'm going to go all the way around. You know, I'll try to go a little a little above too, because see you can kind of see how I'm scraping that like that. You know, I'm gonna flip this over to the other side like that. See I'm kinda doing that up at the top. And you just go like that. See how and now I want you to kind of look at the water. See how the texture that we've made? It's really cool. And then what that's what the other side looks like. But when you just kinda and then you just kinda make little swivel it a little bit it uh, you have a really nice texture for the water the next thing we want to create is we want to create the body of the whale so what I'll show you here is the piece that we're trying to create here is the body right here we're not going to do the, anything with the flippers just yet but I'll just kind of flip it over you can kind of see the basic shape for the whale and that's what we'll be working on right now so what I'm going to do is take this piece of clay here and I want to kind of just squeeze up my hands and we kind of want to almost make it, I want to put it on the table like this. Let me move some of these pieces aside and I'll show you what, how we're going to proceed. Take and kind of roll the clay a little bit like this. Just kind of roll it a little bit like that. And just kind of 
So you can kind of see the shape that's being created now. So what I'm going to do is just kind of take and take it and squeeze it in my hands, and I'll show you. We want to cut. This is going to be the head right here. So I'm just going to kind of work this with my fingers like this, and we're going to create a little like snout here. And I'll just show you how to do that. And we'll just kind of work that like that. I'll show you. And then this here, we're going to try to, I'm going to kind of flip this this way. I'm going to kind of try to make this a little more pointed right here. You can see how I'm just working, kind of pulling it out. And just kind of working it like that. And you just kind of, and I'll show you, we want to create that basic shape for the whale. And I'll show you, just kind of, see how I'm kneading the clay? And I'll show you, I'll show you in a minute. We almost have the shape that we want, and I'll show you the shape that we just created. It's really cool. I want to just make sure we have the, the right shape. So what you want to do is see the, the snout. You kind of want to round that out a little bit, the snout there. See how the snout is? You kind of have a, it kind of slopes down like that. That's going to be that's going to be like the head or the face. So now and then you kind of wait. Now this is what the body looks like. This is what it's going to look like from the top. See how it it narrows out here down the bottom. This is going to be his tail, and then this is what it will look like from the bottom. So I'll show you. We'll just I'll just I'll just knead it a little bit. We'll, I'll just check it. And another thing you want to do too is maybe kind of pinch the tail like this a little bit, make it a little more. And I'll show you. Kind of pinch it like that. See how I kind of flattened it out a little bit in through here? You know, it makes it look a little more realistic. So what we want to do now is we want to take the, our whale body right here, and we want to take and kind of work it into the clay here. So we're going to take our base like that, and I'm just going to take and go like this and kind of squeeze them together a little bit. And just kind of work that like that. And another thing that we want to do is we're going to have we have a toothpick with us right now. You know, you can pick these up in any supermarket. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of go underneath, in between like this. See this, how I got the toothpick? Kind of work the two pieces of clay together like this. See, I'm kind of pulling that along. You want to make sure that they're attached. You don't want the whale to, to come apart. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to take that toothpick and kind of see how I'm kind of working this in. We're going to make sure that they kind of go together like right here. Just take and kind of work that in like that. Just work that like that. So this is now what the whale and the, the water-like base will look like. The next thing we'll proceed to make is we're going to make a dorsal fin. And I'll show you what we're going to do. The dorsal fin is actually on the back of the whale, and it's this piece here. I burnt it a little bit when I had it in the oven. You know, sometimes it happens with the clay. But when you're paying it, you won't even notice it. But that's the dorsal fin. That's the shape that we're going. It's a triangular shape. So see, it, it's very thin. And then you see how it kind of gets thicker to, towards the bottom. And in the back, that helps steer the whale. Like when he's swimming through the water, that, that keeps him, you know, right side up. So we're going to take this ball of clay now, and I'm going to show you how we're just going to take and kind of squeeze it, and we're going to make that triangular shape. See how I'm doing that? Just take and create that triangular shape. See how I'm squeezing that? See how I'm flattening it out? But as I'm flattening it out, I'm also creating this triangular shape like this. So you just kind of keep squeezing it like that. Kind of work it like that between your fingers. See, see that that's the shape that you want, and that's what it looked like from, from the side. And that's what it looked like from the other side, and then kind of like the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to look now, and we're going to place that in the middle of the back of the whale. So what we want to do is place that approximately there in the center, and we're going to place that right there, and kind of push that down like that. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and kind of push that some of that clay in like that. See, I'm kind of pushing that in. You want to take and push that down like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just kind of push that in with your thumb. Push that onto the back and attach it. Because we want to make sure this it's very well attached. So just kind of work that in there with your, with your fingers. And you kind of work that like that. So this is what the, the, it will look like. That's what it looked like from the side. And that's what, if you look straight down, see how it's attached very nicely right now. So the next piece that we want to make is we're going to make the flippers. I'm going to take these balls of clay here. The flippers are these right here, this piece here. See that the nice, they're kind of nice and well-rounded? We're going to make one for each side. We're going to make it, and then we'll uh, attach those to the whale. I'll show you how we'll do that. We're going to take these now. We're going to make, take this ball of clay, and what you want to do is we're going to make the left flipper. So I'm going to take, you see I'm squeezing this? Just squeeze it like that. And just kind of take and squeeze it out. See that how I'm making that nice and round into the shape of the flipper? You see, kind of just work it like that. And, you know, just keep plant kneading it. And I'll show you the shape. Now, what I want to do, too, is I want to make the other flipper. And I want to put this one down. I want to make, make sure they're approximately the same size. So I'm going to take and do the same thing for this, for this piece of clay. You kind of work it between your fingers, flatten it out. And then you kind of get, try to get that rounded shape. Like that. Kind of work that like that. See, you get that nice, you're starting to make that nice rounded shape for the flipper. And we're just going to keep working it like that. So now what I want to do is I want to look to see that these are approximately the same size. And it appears they are. If they're a little off, don't worry about it. I mean, we're just we're learning the basics right now. So what I want to do is I want to show you how we're going to attach these flippers. So we're going to take, I'm going to take the whale here. And I want to take right about here, I want to take and attach the flipper. So I'm going to kind of push that into the whale. And you kind of just work it with your fingers. Kind of See, I'm working that in. Kind of press that up against the whale. And what we're going to do, too, is we're going to take, and we're going to use the toothpick and kind of go underneath right here. And you kind of press that down into the... Oh, let me see. See, I'm, I'm kind of doing that underneath like that. Push that, into the, that part into the whale. It's kind of hard to see, but the, um, just kind of push that in like that. And what I can do, too, is I can try to kind of work that, pull it up a little bit. And let me see if I can give you a better view. But now, see how I'm just kind of taking and pushing down like that? You want to make that sure that that's very well attached that way. So you take the toothpick and kind of push in like that. And then what we're going to do is we got that. I'm going to go over to the other side now. And we're going to attach the other one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this flipper here, look approximately, put it in approximately the same spot, and we're going to push that. I'm going to flip that around. And we're going to take, and you can kind of push that in. The, see how I'm working that in? Just take and work that in like that with your thumb. See, I'm kind of attaching that to the, see I'm, and then you want to do is you want to take and do the same thing with the toothpick that we did in the other side. So you're going to take and kind of put that in like that. Like that. See how I'm pushing it? That way you attach it very securely. So we'll take and we'll just kind of make sure that that's in like that. And then the next thing that we want to do is I'll put that down. We want to make what they refer to as the tail or the flukes. See these things right here? That's the tail. That's what propels the killer whale through the water. When he moves those up and down, it creates the thrust for him to go forward. But we're going to want to create, that's the shape that we want to create. We're going to proceed to make that piece. 
So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take this piece of clay, this ball of clay here, and I'm just going to kind of squeeze it, and I'll show you the shape that we're trying to make. And just keep squeezing it like that. And I'm just going to try to make that basic shape. Kind of make a little point there. There's a slight point. And what I'm going to do, you see this? That's the shape that you want. And then that's what it looked like from the side. That's what it looked like from the bottom. And we're going to proceed to make two of those. So I'm going to take the other piece of clay, and we're going to make another one identical to it. So take the ball of clay and kind of squeeze it between your fingers. See how I'm flattening it out? Flatten it out. But as you do that, you also want to make the shape of the, the, the tail, as I had shown you in, in the other one. So you kind of take and just work that like that. I'm going to take, keep squeezing it. And just kind of work it like that. Like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'll show you the shape that we're, we're looking for. See that? And that's what it'll look like from the side. That's the under, underside. What we're going to do is we're going to compare these now to make sure they're approximately the same size. Let me see if I can put it in my hand. I want to make sure you can see a really good view of it. See how they are approximately the same size? And then what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to attach those to the tail. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you we're going to take and we're going to attach this to the whale's tail. So we're going to take this piece here and just kind of push it in right here. So you kind of push it, push it in like that. I want to kind of just work that in like that. I'm just going to take from the other side, just kind of push that in like that. I'm just going to work that in like that. So that's what it will look like at this point. And then we're going to proceed to do it the same to the other side. So I'm going to take and I'm going to place this on the other side. I'm going to put this on the table for a second. I'm going to take, kind of squeeze that together. And just kind of see, I'm just kind of work that in. I'll lift that a little bit so you can kind of see. So just kind of work that in. And then we're going to flip it over, and I'm going to try to do the same thing on the bottom, too. See, I'm pushing that in. So what I want to do is I want to kind of look at the, the tail. And I'm going to just kind of maybe try to looks like one side is a little bigger than the other, so I'm just going to take and try to squeeze that together a little more to kind of create that a better shape. So you just kind of take and squeeze that together. I want to take, see I'm just kind of working that, and then I'll show you in a second. See the tail? That's, what, that's the shape that you're looking to do. That's what it'll look like from the back, underside. You just kind of work that in. And then you, I would just probably take this, take a toothpick, and maybe kind of make a little kind of slight indentation here in the center. Like this. See how I'm doing this? Might be better if I flip it a little better like that. And now you basically have a very simple version of the body of the killer whale. See how that looks like he's riding on top of the water? That's what it'll look like from the top. And that's what it looked like, you know, kind of like from the bottom. It's really cool when you get to see it, see it like from the back. And I'll give you a version from the front right there. So that's, that's what you're looking to do. Don't worry if the proportions are a little off. The, what I basically want to do is teach you the techniques how to make the whale and, and over time you can make it better and better and you'll be able to look at pictures and say, oh, I, I can do this and I can make it look exactly like the picture. So what I want to do now is I want to show you how to paint the whale. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, you can get acrylic paints, which can be bought in any art store like this. 
and we can use these to paint the whale. The colors we're going to use tonight, let me open it up and I'll show you. We're going to be using white for the color of the whale and that's going to be used on the water. We're going to be using black. We're going to be using a blue, or let's see, a blue paint. And then we're going to use a very light blue like this. And that, uh, let me just see, make sure I didn't miss anything on my whale. Uh, yep, it looks like, yeah, that about covers it. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the types of brushes that you want to use. We just put these aside so they're not in our way. And we will use, I'll show you. For the, the black on the whale itself, I think we'll use this size brush here. It's a little bigger, so, because there's a lot more area to cover. But, you know, I'll also use this for the blue water. We can use that for two different colors. And then, for some of the smaller areas, we're going to use, you know, because when I do the white for, on the uh, killer whale, I'll probably use this one, because there's some, like, white in the side of his head. So it'll be this size brush. And then... We'll be using, there's a couple of other brushes that I want to use. I'll show you, they're approximately these sizes here. So you want to use that. And then this is the other size that I want to use. So we'll end up using these to paint the well. The first thing that I want to do is I want to do the blue paint. And I'll show you how we'll do that. We're going to do the water. Uh, it doesn't look, looks like this. Do that. So what we'll do is we'll take the water here. I get my cup. Dip it a little, a little bit of water. I'm gonna take the blue paint, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna proceed to paint the water here. So the area that we're painting is right here, and you're gonna go up and down. You're gonna go up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down. See, like this. You want to just go back and forth like that. I'll show you. Up and down, up and down. Now you're going to paint the entire base this way. I'm not going to paint the entire thing that on the show, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what to do. So just go up and down, up and down like that. So the next thing that we want to paint is... I'll show you, we'll do the light blue paint. This color here, we'll take the light blue, and I'll show you, we'll just take this, the light blue here, and we'll just kind of make, like, swish it in a little bit like this. No, just kind of dab it a little bit here and there. So we're just going to dab it. You just want to kind of dab it quickly. You don't want to paint the whole thing, but just add some color to it. And just kind of dab it like that. And you can see, see how I've kind of added some colors there. The next thing that we want to do is we want to take and paint some white into that. So I'm going to take and dip the brush. And we'll get out our trusty white. And I'll show you. We'll get that. And uh, I'll use this this brush here. So now what we're going to do with this is this here. Can I just dab a little bit here and there? Kind of swish it in a little bit like this. Dab it a little bit. You know, it kind of gives it a nice effect. Just kind of swish it like that. Kind of dab it a little bit here and there. And it has a really, see how it has a really nice effect? So you kind of get that frothing of the waves that the, the whale is riding. The next thing that we'll want to do is I'll show you, there's a few things that we want to paint on our killer whale. I think we'll do the white first. I'll show you on this version here. On a killer whale, they usually have a couple of like white patches on the side of the head like this. 
and then you get the a white patch over here. The underside is usually white. You usually have an area back here. See how the, the, there's some, a white area going up on the tail? And then the, the tail itself is white under the underside. And then you have like another little area like this. So that's, the, that's what you want to ultimately paint. So I'll show you how to do that. What we're going to do is I'll use this one as a reference or a guide. I'll take, let's see, I've got to get my paper, trusty paper towels. And I'll show you how to paint the white. I'm just going to dab that a little bit. So we're going to take the white, and dip that in. And right here is where you're going to paint the white. So you kind of want to take and paint something like this. Kind of paint like that. And you're gonna do you're gonna do one on both sides. I'll just show you how to do one side for the purpose of the demonstration. But you're gonna paint one here, and you'll paint one on the exact opposite side. And another thing that you want to do too is you want to paint the underside of the whale here white. So you're gonna paint the underside white because they're usually white on the underside. Let's see, and I'll show you here. See that how we get? We're gonna do the white underside. We'll do that, and then you want to see how we're going to paint along here. There's nice white on the side. You see under the tail here, this is going to be white. We're going to paint that, and then we're going to paint the other side white too. We're going to just kind of paint that like that. And what we're going to do is on the underside of the whale here, I'm going to show you, we're just going to kind of come up the side a little bit. Do that. And I remember I did show you this kind of like a little mark that goes up like that. So you go like that. And we're going to do the same on the other side. I'll show you quickly. So we're going to take this whale. We're going to go like that. And then we're going to take and we're going to make that other, I want to see approximately where I made the other one. I take that mark and kind of go up like that. And that's kind of like what you want to do for the white. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to do the black. I'll take this size brush here and I'll show you how to do the black. Want to take what's the it's beautiful this paint here because you can kind of see. I'm going to paint this black now. See, I'm painting the flipper black. That really may, has a nice effect when you're starting painting that black. And I'm going to paint you, on this one here, you can paint the underside of the flipper black also. Like that. But you can paint all the way around. You're going to paint all sides of that flipper like that. And then what we're going to do too is we're going to paint. So you, you hear where the white is? You want to paint around that like that. Kind of just take and work your, work your way around it like that. You know, and just kind of see how we're just kind of painting that. Kind of like that. Just kind of paint. You're going to paint the whole, the whale, all around the whale black like that. Just go back and forth, back and forth. See how, see how back and forth, back and forth. And then you'll, you'll paint like the, the dorsal fin here. You're going to go back and forth. So in a situation here, like where I had burnt the dorsal fin a little bit, now that you cover it with the black, you never even noticed that it was burned 
I kind of flip that. It's going to go back and forth, back and forth. Like that. I'll show you over here. Back and forth, back and forth. Like that. And you want to do that down the whole, you want to do the tail, back and forth, back and forth. See that? And then we, I'll kind of move that aside now. We do the back and forth, back and forth. So you go back and forth like that. Now I've shown you how to paint a good part of the whale. I want to show you what it would look like when it's done. This whale here, as you can see, see how we did the water? See how you get the nice, the, the, the blue water, you get the nice light blue highlights here with the white. It has a really, really nice effect. And then you notice the whale here. He's painted all black. So I created that little white area. You got that little white area in the side of the head. You, want, you got the underside, which is painted white. And you got the other side here. Now, the reason why I didn't show you how to do eyes tonight is you know, we could make the little holes for the eyes. The eyes would be slightly ahead of that white patch. But so you really don't need to, um, it's usually very hard to see in a killer whale. So, you know, it, uh, that's, I figured I'd keep it very simple tonight. So, but that uh, is your killer whale. And you can see these down in SeaWorld. I, I love going to SeaWorld and watch them perform all the tricks and things. And, and I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay tonight. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.